Okay. <laughs> I've run into an issue here. I don't remember anything about season two of Jack Ryan. And that's not to say that like I have faulty memory because I do, my memory absolutely sucks. Here's the problem. I remember beat for beat um, the entire plot for season one of Jack Ryan, which is uh, uh, Jack's new to the, uh, the agency, he's new to the CIA. The main villain from season one is Suleimani. Uh, Suleimani is this um, um, Middle Eastern terrorist that's basically uh, using a terrorist organization to funnel a dirty bomb into the United States to cause chaos and destruction. Beat for beat. End of season one, uh, Suleimani's dead. His son realizes that he never cared for his mother or the rest of the family but he sees Jack kill his father. Son has a grudge against Jack, but Jack still puts them up in um, in protective custody with a house for them to start a new life in the United States. I remember it beat for beat. I don't remember season two of Jack Ryan, like at all. And that's a testament to the fact that I, like I, season two, season two was bad. At least in my head, if if I've if I sit down and I watch your show every single season and I'm excited for when that show comes out, if I don't remember off the top of my head anything about the previous season, it's probably because I went on autopilot through that season because nothing really grabbed me like nothing, nothing grabbed me at all. And because nothing grabbed me at all, I did not care to watch or even recall anything that was going on in season two. That is not the case with season three. Season three is absolutely freaking fantastic. Um, I am happy that Jack Ryan's back. I'm actually trying to pull up the names of the, 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 the people from season three. If I can get to an episode and then get to season three, and then I can click on this and then we can go down to IMDB for the cast because I really want to talk about the cast of season three. Okay, so right off the bat, John Krasinski, Wendell Pierce, fantastic. Absolutely fucking love them. They are not the star of this season. There's a reason why I fumbled in the last minute to like look up these people's names because the star of this season is James Cosmo. James Cosmo, all he had to do was show up and just be the stereotypical, can I trust him, can I not trust him, Russian soldier. But there are so many layers to his character. And there's this great, um, this great parallel between both his character and Jack Ryan's character, where they are basically two individuals working inside of a system that is failing, and they're doing everything in their power to protect their respective countries. Like, Luca is old. He is the definition of fear the old man in a profession that, young, that men die young. He is old, he is grizzled, he is the Grim Reaper. If you are in your house eating cereal, chilling and the door opens up and he walks in you understand this is your last day on earth you are essentially dead there's no moving forward from here so multifaceted because there's there's that when he first shows up on the scene it's okay typical russian soldier then you get his his backstory and you're like oh okay russian soldier with a heart maybe a Russian soldier with a conscience, but then he's also the most ruthless motherfucker in the entire show. And you're like, yo, hold up, wait a minute, hold on, hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm liking what you're putting down. And then he's this great foil to Ryan, the way in which they play off of each other, where both of them are essentially using each other. There's this scene where they're both basically out gadgeting each other. Ryan has like these things that he's using to track him. And then at the end of it, this thing that he's carrying around is also a gadget and you're like, he's got gadgets too. He's basically the older version of Jack Ryan that doesn't have a, a, a morality. Well, 
a sense of morality, I would say, because he's quick. If you are an issue, he's going to get you out of there. Uh, another great addition to this season was uh, Betty Gabriel. Absolutely fantastic as the head of the CIA in, they weren't in Moscow. They're in another location, but the head of the CIA branch in that area, she's great. I love the fact that she got the promotion to the next job. I, I have not read the Jack Ryan books, so I don't know whether or not she's a big player in that field where she puts more trust in Ryan and what he's calling out. But I like the fact that she reacts like an actual human being would to Jack's bullshit, which is he's going off the cuff. He's not following protocol. He's doing his own thing. And you respond to him the way in which somebody who's following the book would, where you're out in the field and him going off doing his own thing has the chance to get your other agents killed where she doesn't like him for breaking protocol. However, once she realizes that, oh snap, he's onto something and my superiors don't wanna hear what he's onto, but what he's onto is legit. I'm gonna put my faith in this guy. She puts her faith in him perfect relationship is automatically formed like a perfect trio is formed between both elizabeth wright james greer and jack ryan's characters where james is just like that tired older brother that has to put up with his younger brother's antics and bullshit and and like i said every time i see wendell pierce in anything i love him i love him in suits i love him over here he's fantastic i love that they decided to keep it on uh the two new additions for this season which won't be coming back next season one of the things that I like about Jack Ryan that I also dislike about Jack Ryan is they introduce these really interesting characters, but then at the exact same time when the season's over, those characters get rotated out and you never see them again. Uh, Peter Guinness play, plays essentially the main villain for the season, and Nina Haas plays uh, his daughter. And I like the dynamic between the both of them because it's like, what if your country had an ideal and you gave yourself 100% to that ideal. Then a revolution comes along, the country that you know collapses and something new is built up in its place, but the same enemies are around. You cling to that ideal, but while you're clinging to that ideal, you're clinging to a lie of a life because no one can know who you used to be. And I, I like the nuances of how the story is basically set up. Because the very first time you met him, I was like, that guy looks like a, <laughs> that guy looks like a bad guy. He looks like a villain. But as the as it plays out, and you get more and more of his backstory along with uh blah 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 Jim Cosmo's backstory as Luca, like you really start to see how the Soviet Union could have driven people to the two extremes where these both of these characters essentially ended up. Love it. Loved every single second of it. The action is fantastic. Um, the new characters and new villains that he introduced, fantastic. The story actually had me rooted to my seat watching it over the Christmas break. Sorry for the super late review, but here we are. Um, I enjoyed the season. This season was this season was dope. Like Michael Kelly also pops up as Mike November, which I forgot that he was even in this. Every single time I see uh, Michael Kelly, I remember House of Cards. For whatever reason, that is where I remember him from. But I think that this season of Jack Ryan is way better than the last season. Um, season two, because I was also looking it up while I'm doing this. Season two took place in South America during the midst of a revolution. But the problem is, I don't remember any of the people in season two. No one really stood out outside of Greer and Ryan. And that's bad. However, season three rectifies that everyone stands out you're gonna hate some characters you're gonna love some characters you're gonna look at a character and go you're a weasel i hope you get shot in the face and then they get shot in the face and you're like ah oh, vindication this season's great i absolutely love it go check out jack ryan and amazon you can also if you don't have amazon haha your boy is uh your boy got that affiliation if you don't have amazon there's a link down below where you can click and you can sign up for amazon prime for free like i've been telling people for like the longest minute uh this year is going to be the year in which we get back invincible the boys and a bunch of other shows that are on amazon prime this is the best time to sign up catch up on the boys catch up on invincible and join me on all the fun and i will catch you in the next one peace